be ready to start us out. We'll take questions. First off, I think um, you know all the credit goes to Georgia Tech. The way they started the game, the first half of the game, putting us on our heels. Um, I think they scored 45 points the first half. I mean, we didn't defend them. They took it to us. They scored in the paint. They finished the game making um, 12 threes. They scored 40 points on in the paint along with 12 threes. That means there was no resistance anywhere on the court. So all the credit goes to them. Um, they played the way they needed to play to come out with a win at home on senior night. And, um, you know, the disappointing thing is that, you know, the first half of this game, we just didn't compete the way we needed to. Questions? Guys had it down five or five minutes ago. Similar situations the last few weeks. You guys have been able to stay mentally focused and stay competitive for the team, but today it just seems to kind of fall apart. What what was what do you attribute that to? Was it just was it something Georgia Tech was doing? Were you guys out there mentally? What do you, what do you talk about that to? I just think there's a focus, a discipline that you have to have, especially when you dig yourself a hole. There's a fight that you that is required that you don't just make a run now you got to get over that run you got to take the lead so we get to the cusp of making the run of getting the lead and then a bad play a bad call a lack of defensive effort one thing goes wrong they get a basket and it kills our run then we come down the court and we turn it over they get a layup those type of plays um they end up killing you yeah we did enough to make the run but that's not the goal. The goal is to win the game. And in order to win the game, you have to know uh, we're not more talented than Georgia Tech. We're not. Um, the only way we win, we fight together and we talk to each other on the court and we defensively get after them. That's the only way we can win. And we didn't, we weren't connected tonight or today. Tech was doing difficult Last game, they go over eight or whatever it was, they got three. This game, they make as many in the first half. What, were they doing something different offensively, or was it just chalking it up to open shots finally going down? I have to look at the tape, first of all, but for me, just off what I'm thinking I remember of the game, I don't think our closeouts were desperate. I thought we were very casual in getting the shooters. Um, I thought we were casual in getting the spots. Um, I thought we were casual in giving them resistance to where they want to go on the floor. Again, think about it, 12 threes, and they score 40 points in the paint. You're not winning. Hey, uh, on the positive side of your defense, Debo Coleman, three out of three, first threes that he made, all three in a row. And then Press the game over three. Was that a result of some halftime focus or was that what's happening? You know, I can't really say. I, I, you know, for me, I'm looking at every player can make a shot, right? So are you willing him to miss the shot or are you hoping he missed a shot? What I see, what I, my remembrance of the game is guys closing out and they're not jumping and they're not hard contesting then you're hoping. You're hoping he miss a shot. You're not giving the effort to wheel him to miss a shot. So, look, he's a good player or he wouldn't be in that jersey. Um, this is high major basketball. We have to respect any and everybody. I thought maybe the, the real sort of, da there were two daggers. One was Terry's corner three. The other was the Put a path foul on Franklin. Just we, I guess, what were your thoughts on the foul there? That was um, maybe not the best decision. Um, you know, the dagger three again. I remember it being not hard contested. Um, the clear path foul. I just thought, you know, he was casual and he panicked. Um, you can give a hard foul and move your feet and try to get in front. He just didn't. He sort of panicked. 
the best way I can describe it. Outside of LLG, you know, a whole bunch of guys to step up. Do you think for, even with the loss, it's sort of a step in the right direction, knowing you were able to get four guys break double figures? Again, I look. Guys scoring in double figures, we run a good offense. We're running good stuff. It's predicated on multiple guys scoring. I need us to defend. I need us to fight. I need us to play winning basketball. I need us connected. I need us desperate defensively. I need us rebounding the ball and hitting people and, and imposing our will to win a game. The fact that we had four guys or five guys or six guys in double figures, that's not it for me. Um, what's it for me is I want to feel like we're going to war to win a game, not to play offense. And I thought today's game was an indicator that it was you score, I score. We're not comprised. We're not built like that. That's not the components of my team. We have to defend. It's not a choice. So we decide not to defend. It's like saying we don't want to win. We just want to score. Anybody online has a question for Kamari or Coach Payne, go ahead. Everybody good? All right, thank you all.